hope I'm not interrupting anything. I just came by to give you a present. I know we weren't able to meet up over the holidays, so... But I figured this would be the next best thing. Can you... Um, open your door a little wider? I don't think I can fit the box through. Hey, um... Is everything alright? Wait, why do you want me to leave? I thought you said I wasn't interrupting anything. You know I can see right through lies. And to be real, this one wasn't even slightly convincing. Sorry. Will you please just open the door? It's freezing out here. Oh. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to stare. I just, uh... What happened in here? This place is a mess. Uh... No, no offense. Sorry, I should stop letting all the cold in. What's going on? Is it what I think it is? Why didn't you tell me? You know I always want to help. Wouldn't have ruined my holidays. If anything, I feel bad now that I know you've spent the holidays feeling depressed. No, uh, it's not your fault. I worded that wrong. Can we sit down and talk about it? Yeah, I'll clear some space on the couch. To start, I guess I want to say, good job. Good job making it through the year. You fought really hard to get to where you are today. Think about it. At this point last year, you said you didn't think you'd last till March. And 12 months later, you're still here. That's incredible. I know you didn't exactly mm, want to stick around, but I am so thankful that you did, because you've made so much progress. Uh, I know your place is a bit of a mess. <laughs> okay, a lot of a mess, but still. You've been more open with me about your feelings. You've been able to keep up with work. You're taking more time for self-care. That's no small feat. I'm sure this time of year can be... difficult. Especially for people with depression. It's hard enough on a normal day, but... The cold weather can make you feel so much worse. It probably feels unbearable sometimes. But you will make it through. Just like you always have. Do you want to lay down with me? I don't want to force you or anything. I just think you need some reassurance right now. Come here. You can lay on me. How does this feel? Hmm. I'm glad. About the mess. I'll help you clean it up sometime soon. Spring cleaning is coming up anyways. For the last time, it doesn't bother me. Helping you is something I want to do. Not something I feel forced into. I know it's really hard to do. 
But try to look on the bright side with me. Just for a little bit. After all, it's a new year. A fresh start. You and I can do so much in the near future. Look, I know that a new year isn't going to magically change everything, but it's a start. And sometimes all we need to do is take a small step. Well, the first small step should be giving yourself a break. You've worked so hard this past year. I think you've earned some downtime. After all, you don't go back to work until next week, right? So in this time, I want you to do more self-care. Watch a funny movie, play a good game, take a walk in the snow, whatever you think sounds nice. And if you can't bring yourself to get up to do those things, I'll help get it going. Of course. I don't have any plans for today anyways. Keep that in mind, alright? Take things one small step at a time. Even tasks that seem impossibly big can be broken down into smaller chunks. Like how a year can be broken down into months. And months can be broken into weeks. And weeks into days. Even our cleaning can be broken into smaller pieces. We can try doing one room at a time. Or one corner of a room at a time. Or whatever works best for you. It's okay to take it slow. Trust me, I'll be here to help the entire year. You can count on it. Do you have a resolution this year? That's okay. It's hard to look forward when you're struggling with the present. Do you want me to help? Okay, for starters, what would you like to accomplish this year? Hmm... Is there something you want to get better at? Something new you want to try? You know what? How about we make your resolution this? Just survive. And hey, sometimes that's all we can do. And there's no shame in that. Surviving is an accomplishment in itself. And I mean, you survived 100% of your worst days so far. I think you got this in the back. Well, if you feel like you might not make it, talk to me, please. I'll always make time to support you. No matter what. And listen, I'm not asking you to be optimistic. I know depression runs entirely counter to that. I'm just asking you to trust me. Just keep metaphorically holding my hand until you're able to stand on your own. Or literally, if you need to. Believe me, at the end of this year, you're gonna look back at today and be happy with how far you've come. And I'll support you every step of the way. It's not a lie. When have I ever lied to you? Exactly. I just say it how it is. Hmm? Oh wow, lunchtime already? Hmm, <laughs> time flies. Have you decided what self-care activity you want to do yet? That's alright. You can take your time. Until then, I'm gonna grab us some takeout. Does Chinese sound good? 
please. My pleasure. And while I'm gone, you can open your present. I know opening up gifts while people are watching can be stressful. Because you're expected to be happy and blah blah blah. I'll take that pressure off of you. Is it alright if I give you one more hug before I go? I love you. Thanks for being you. I know I'm not usually sappy and all that, but screw it. What better time to be sappy than a holiday, right? I'll be back in... 20 minutes, maybe? I don't think the food place will be very busy today. Yeah, see you soon. I promise you're gonna have an amazing year. I'll make sure of it. <laughs>